fucking phantom. I've been chasing you for three goddamn years. You do life for this, Tom. Maybe you in the chair. You don't want the guy who was punching tickets. You want the guy who was handing them out. So that's what this has been all about, huh? You offering up Salieri. The Don's books. The ones Frank stole. I have them. They're enough to put Salieri away forever, and they're yours. Assuming we have a deal. My family. For the Don. You recognize anyone? Look again. <sighs> Old man that stomp upon two younger lads of Morello and Salieri. Yeah. Okay, I see it. <laughs> that must be what? 1920? April. Morello's wedding. Salieri was the best man. <laughs> Jesus. They're just kids. Not already soldiers in Papone's mob. So what happened? How did they go from being best mates to Morello on a slab? I don't know. I didn't even know they were friends. <laughs> but you don't know could fill up the fucking Chrysler building. In 22, Papone drowns up at the lake. Right? In order to keep things running smoothly, Salieri and Morello created Debbie up the city. Yeah, I heard the story, so what? Right, a friendship should have made the deal work, but didn't make a lick of difference. After Morello, Salieri was beaming, thinking we ran the whole damn town. Me, I was just happy the war was over. But then I got to thinking about something. What good it was all of Morello's money if we couldn't protect him from a regular Joe like me? Cabby, for Christ's sake. It only got him one thing. A great big bullseye in his fucking forehead. And that thought, it just kept turning round and round in my head until one day, I'm looking in a mirror. I start seeing a bullseye too. Right here. Dry your tears in the water hundreds, do you? I wasn't about to give up the good life, I know that. I just told myself that I was smarter than Morello. That I wouldn't turn around one day and find Polly or Sam pointing a gun at my head. The thing is, you don't see it. When you're out on the street, scrapping, fighting for your life, then the guy next to you isn't just your partner, he's your brother. You'd stick a knife in someone for your brother, right? But at night, you lie awake, wondering what he and Adon were whispering about behind the bar. Wondering if your best friend is hungry enough to betray you. Any trouble? No bus, no trouble at all. Got something else for me? All these feels a little light. There's a little extra in mine to cover the difference. You ever go swimming, Tom? Been to the shore a few times, sure. I knew a couple of guys once. Took some dames out to the lake. Had a few beers, a few laughs. Then one of them decides to go in the water. Gets to the center of the lake and realizes he's running out of steam. <laughs> 
Can't make it back in. He starts shouting for help. Now, the other guy, he's a strong swimmer. He goes out in the lake to drag his buddy back to shore. Problem is, the first guy, the one too stupid to know when the water's too deep for him, he panics. Grabs his friend by the neck, and they both go under and don't come up again. Paulie's your friend. And I know you're loyal to him. And I respect that. But don't you ever pay his tab again. OK, boss. Good. Now, we got to talk about this Turnbull. The guy running for governor? The same. He's been flapping his gums a lot about cracking down on our businesses. That's rich. He spent more on whores than Paulie and Sam combined. <laughs> you want me to pay him a visit? Maybe put him on a take? No. You can't trust the hypocrite, Tom. We need to end his campaign aspirations and in a way that keeps anyone from stepping up to the same platform. Vinny, you have a plan then? Of course. Turnbull's holding a rally near Central Island. The spot he picked is hard to reach and out in the open. Should have a beautiful view of the rally from the tower of the old prison. From there, you'll give Turnbull the third eye. Okay. I'll go see Vinny about the gun. But don't forget, you only got one shot. You miss, and this crew will usher him out of there quick. I'm the best shooter you got. Otherwise, you'll be talking to someone else. And get it done. Hey, handsome. <laughs> Ladies? You're wasted on that wife of yours. You know that? Uh, he'll never look our way. He's a good boy. Another man to blind to how this city works, and always has. He'll know soon enough. Tommy. Boss says you got something for me. Yeah, I got a shipment in from a guy at Fort Stanmore. Now, Salieri wants this to run like clockwork, so no heat till the guy's head bursts. I hit little Tony, stash one of these, where you need it. So, up high in the old prison? Yeah. Family's got a lot of history in that place. Hoods who live there now ain't so classy. So watch yourself. Little Tony locked the rifle up tight in the room with a view. Up on the top floor. Sick of that politician shit in the papers, Tommy. We own this town now. Right between the eyes, huh? Find a way inside and make for the guard tower. The top deck is locked. That's what the key's for. Why this message is a little different. 
In recent years, our city has fallen prey to criminal elements. Only one man has shown that he has the strength and the moral fortitude required to once again allow the people to walk the streets without fear, with hope in their hearts. That man is Hank Turnbull. Mr. Turnbull stepped away from political life after 20 years as congressman of the 27th district. The appalling situation our state finds itself in has compelled him to step into the breach once more. And we could have no finer champion in the government mansion than Hank Turnbull. He'll bring all his experience to bear on the criminals that have made our streets their playground. Proven in the battlefield that is the 27th Congressional District, Mr. Turnbull will be tough on crime and tough on the systemic corruption that plagues our state. We are lucky in the extreme to have such a warrior against Griff stepping back on the field in our time of need. He receives the full backing and endorsement of the Behringer family and Behringer's department store. Behringer's Department Store and Hank Turnbull, leading the way for a brighter future. Vote Turnbull for governor. said you wanted the guard tower. Paid me to mark the way with this sign. Folks go through the sewer. Only way, then just keep heading up. Hey, you down there! We ain't going nowhere! Turn around! You were coming. Someone's coming though. Well, you ain't I'm warning us. you, mister. You're not welcome here. you people just leave us be this is our home why can't you people understand that is that you cop you're locked up tight not getting in someone's coming through Stuff. Lost. Well, you 
know the guard tower. It's uh, up through the main cell block. Keys locked most of the time. Keep the feds out. Thanks. Be careful in here, stranger. We're protective of our own. Guys like him, they listen to guys like me, see? How 
looking ahead. <laughs> You've been using it. So what if I did? I need it. I need it. Now you can't. Now you can't need it. Oh, what? Well, you think you can just... Uh, this is the right way for the guard tower? Just through the kitchen. Don't try no funny stuff. You want some of this? Found him! What? You think you can take on me? Close to the guard tower. Real close. Elevator's out, but you can take the stairs.
detain everyone you see. The police! It's the police! Where's the shooter? I... I don't... Where's the fucking shooter? Where is he? Please... Please, no! God. Never get us out of here! This place is ours! We, uh, help you? Here! 
Did you hear about this Turnbull? Heard he was crooked as the day is long. It says in the paper he's going to be remembered for fighting to pass the 19th Amendment. Put his whole career on the line for it. Which one was that again? Woman suffrage, you idiot. He gave me the right to vote, Tom. Gave it to his wife and six daughters, too. Guess nobody's just one thing, are they? Guess not. I gotta go to work. <sighs> Tom, don't do nothing you don't want to be remembered for, you hear me? Probably too late for that. <laughs> Yeah, it's great, boss. And this is just a taste. I got a line on a whole shipment of Cameroons that have been impounded by customs. You guys are going to grab them. You want us to boost cigars? Something wrong with that? Customers in our nightclubs are paid through the nose for quality cigars. Still, it seems, I don't know, small time. I just knew you were a smart one, Tom. Can't put nothing past you. Small time is exactly right. That's how it's supposed to look, anyhow. The cigars are just a cover for a shipment of hot ice. The smuggled diamonds have been hidden in some of the boxes. The feds haven't found them yet. We're stealing diamonds from the feds? Don't worry about it. I've already discussed all the details with Sam here. He'll fill you in. Now, I got a meeting with the mayor at his favorite gentleman's club. Work out the details together. But I want those cigars back here before anyone catches on to the real loot. You got it? Sure, boss. Great. And don't drink all the good stuff while I'm gone. You know about this. Boss and I worked it out last night. We got a plan. Now, I'm not saying it's a good plan, but it won't get us killed. Probably. So what, then? We got a guy on the inside or something? No. We got to do this on our own. And it'll be rough. Cigars are packed in crates at the harbor. Shit. The place will be crawling with security. Yeah. Brute force won't work. We gotta play this one cool. So we're gonna steal a customs truck. Slip right in. Christ. And kill the poor bastard driver. No. We'll just scare him a bit. All we need is his paperwork. Right. We don't need the hassle of dumping a body. Come on. Let's see if we can get eyes on a customs truck down by the docks. You alright, Tom? Yeah. Just trying to figure out the angle is up. What's there to figure? Boss says a job needs doing, we're doing it. it. Just seems like a lot to put on the line. Even for some diamonds. The feds pinch us. We can do serious time. Then let's make sure we don't get caught. Right? Yeah. I got gear for the job stashed down near the harbor. If either of yous need something special, go see Vinny. All I need is a stiff drink. For Christ's sakes, Polly, just lay off for one night, please. Risky business tonight, Tom. Take whatever you need.
Remember when you got made? Shaking down stores, whacking small-time punks. Feels a long time ago, huh? The job don't change, Vinny. One dead guy is the same as the next. Ah, enjoy it! All my life, I wanted to be one of the big guys. And that's us now. We're living the dream, Tom. It don't get better. Never forget that. When you relax, you're making me nervous playing around with your piece like that. Sorry. Just got a lot on my mind as well. <laughs> that show. I had to figure there wasn't enough room up there. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, assholes. You guys are done. I didn't think I got plans. But you're wrong. You got big plans. Yeah. Spill it then. What are you working on? Been thinking about hitting up a savings and loan downtown. You want to rob a bank? Sure. I've been casing the place for months. I got it all worked out. I just need a few guys I can count on to watch my back. We're robbing a bank that's a little out of our league. We're robbing the fucking feds, ain't we? What's the difference? Well, Salieri's the goddamn difference, you nitwit. The Don sent us to steal these cigars. There ain't no way he sanctions a bank job. Well, then we don't tell him. You want to step out on the done? No. Not really. We can cut him in after we make the score. He'll be bent, sure. But he won't stay mad once he gets his share. I don't know, Polly. Yeah, I fucking know. You do what you want. I won't say nothing. Yeah, I owe you that much. So, Yeri, if he finds out you're going behind his back, you'll be planted right next to Morello. You ask me, there ain't no hall worth that. He's right, Polly. You bring it to the Don, or let it go. Yeah. Just get the daydreaming, you know. Wake up. We're here. Tom, you take the car. Find a custom truck and meet us near the impound. Me and Polly, we'll go get the rest of the gear. Right. You got your head together. Yeah. Sober as a priest. That's what I'm afraid of. Hey, quit busting my balls. I'm good.
Park up over there, Tom. Where's my uniform? Huh? Oh, this is all we got, pal. Besides, there's only room for two in the cap. You can ride in the back. Make sure you keep your head down or this whole thing is blown. Forget about it. I know when to keep my head down. Mm. Make you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's get moving. All right, all right. Jesus Christ. You comfortable back there, Tom? What the hell do you think? What's the plan when we get to the impound? I don't know. We look for crates that came from Cameroon or something. The cigar place. You know how big the impound is. Relax. It'll be empty this time of night. We'll have the run of the place. Papers. The dash. What was that? What was what? What? Here you go, pal. All right, good. Busy night tonight. Man. Might not find a spot. Hear that? There's gonna be guys everywhere. It'll be fine. We just gotta think on our feet. Thinking on my feet is my worst thing, Sam. You know that. call this we need to have gone through these shipments by sunup yeah sorry we couldn't find our papers but we found them again just show us what to do pal we're no we're all buddy it's just that some of us know what time we got a clock in come with me okay tom looks like it's on you Get into the warehouse and find a cigar crate that's hiding the diamonds. Okay. They keep records on everything here, so search their files. You're looking for Cameroon cigars that came in on a boat called the Bohemia. Ship docked on Tuesday, 23rd. You got that? Yeah. Don't get caught. Don't get seen. Come find us when you're done. Got guys working over that tonight. Guys back in DC got witness some bigs come through here. Something worth finding. The assistant director's not gonna sleep till he knows what it is. <sighs>
Come on, fellas, let's speed this up. Once we're done with the small crates, we start cracking open the big ones next door. Money's good, but boy, these feds are assholes. Must have been through a hundred maxes already. Interesting. This is any use. This is huge. Okay, boys. Check each crate, then we'll start cracking them open. There's hundreds. Ah, yeah, then lucky you. Have an all night to search them. Huh. This'll help.
here either. Ah, jeez, give me a break. Found them. There he is. You sure we're getting what we came for? We're aces, boys. Good. Let's get them loaded and get out of here. That's the last of them. Let's dangle. I'm not riding in the back again. You're a better wheelman anyway. Just don't drive us into the bay. Shit. You hear that? Okay, Tom. Got it. Let's go! Let's go! Jesus, Tom, it ain't comfortable back here, huh? Through the gates! So let's get out of sight, fast as you can, Tom. Checkpoint! Give it a wide berth, Tommy.
cops they got out here. Gotta take a different route. like these are your best thing guys i'm trying to drive here let's get back to the warehouse without lhpd on our tail huh sure we got the diamonds the boss will be happy that's all that matters right now those rocks have better be as big as the goddamn rich for all the crates we had to move tonight in your old job. Worst of it. I don't look too good. Don's gonna be pissed if we ruined any of the cigars. What the hell? Christ. It's dope. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Where are the diamonds? There ain't any. This is the real score. No. No, 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 no. Don said we would get diamonds. You can open every box. You're not going to find them. We put our fucking necks out on the line for this shit. Looks like it. 
It'll cool off, Polly. The Don's coming. Shit. We don't say nothing about this to the Don. Okay, if he wanted us to know, he would have told us. He should have come clean. Sure. But for now, we keep our trap shut. Right? Yeah, okay. Polly? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't saying nothing. Any problems, boys? One of the crates got a little banged up his own. All right. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Might have lost a few cigars, but otherwise the merchandise should be okay, Moss. Besides, ain't diamonds supposed to be the hardest thing around? Outside of my cock, maybe. Well, bravo, boys, bravo. You all got a well-deserved bonus coming your way. You want us to unload the crates into the warehouse? No, you can take a powder. These morons are gonna take it from here. You sure? What I say. Okay, boss. We'll dangle. Sam, give me a lift back to the bar. Sure, boss. You guys coming? Now nah, we'll take the train. Okay. See you later. Yeah, but what are you gonna do? I already told you. The bank. Yeah. I don't care what Sam says. I'm getting that score. How much you figure? You want in? We're just talking. I knew I could count on you, pal. So which bank? Grand Imperial. Where North Park meets downtown. Yeah, been there. A while back. Well, the security don't look tight. Easy getaway. Tellers who don't look like they put up a fight. Can't do it alone. Maybe. I'm not moving Black Tar for the Don. Especially if he's not cutting us in. And... I don't know. I just never want to be in that street again. What street? On my knees. Watching some poor skirt burn just because she got in our way. It was the wrong place in the wrong time. Just tough luck. Seems there ain't no other kind with us. I'm telling you, Tom, this is perfect. I wouldn't have asked you to come in on this if I didn't think it was our ticket. We'll see. I'm not signing up for the job until I see what's what. If I get pinched, Sarah's done with me. We've got a family to look after. I get that. But think about what this could mean for them. Watch it, buddy. You're treading into enemy territory without a map. Yeah. I don't know what it's like for you going home to your wife and kid. But that's why I'm doing this. Who's gonna marry me? Nearly 40 years old and nothing to show for it but my rap sheet. But we do this? I get enough scratch to finally get out? Who knows? You're not built for the domestic life, Polly. With six months in, you'll put a bullet in your brain out of boredom. Christ. I'm ready to punch my ticket right now. We sit around for six months, just playing cards and busting balls, and I start to get lazy. Then everything blows up, and I gotta knock the rust off or I'm dead. One day I'm fighting to stay awake while the Don's telling us a story about the old days. One I've already heard a hundred times, and the next day, the next day I'm getting shot at, trying to keep some shit in my pants. It's fucking wearing me out, Tommy. So you're looking for the big one, though. I know it's a snipe hunt. Every little monster goes to bed dreaming about that last big score. But if we do this thing, I don't know. Might be just enough to get me a little pizzeria or something, you know? Sure. 
But if we're doing this, we're waiting till things calm down. Ah, you're already hooked, pal. Maybe. stays the same. Right. I take care of the crowd, you handle the manager. Threats don't work, do what you gotta do. Keeps the vault keys on them. So you tell her sounds the alarm. How long do we get? Five minutes, maybe more, before the cops show. What if it all goes to hell? I'm not fucking around, Tom. You hear gunshots down at the vault. Don't come up. It's the money or nothing at all. You doing this? We're doing this. We can see your pretty faces. Anybody moves, I'll pop them. Get the manager. I need you all to stay on the ground. I see movement, people start getting shot. We all want everyone to get to go home and hug their kids tonight. Right? No heroes. Not today. No kidding around. You all got that? With me, down to the vault. I'll do whatever you say. No one needs to get hurt. This make you feel big, beating on a little guy. What are you doing? It's making me feel rich, and the little guy gets to walk away if he doesn't do anything stupid. How many guards at the vault? One. You gonna shoot? I don't know. If I see a gun, he gets a bullet. So you tell him to stand down. It's all on you. This. Your sort never do. You just worry about you. yourself. I want you want to see your daughter graduate from high school. You keep your hands where I can see them and tell your guard to do the same. to your guard, you tell him to drop his gun. You got that? Listen to me very carefully. I need you to put down your... Ah, oh, shit, him, boys! Shoot him! has to die. I don't have to die! Ah. 
Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Wake him on it! It's time to go. Stops trying to beat outside my chest.
can't believe we fucking did it! We're loaded! We're loaded! Yeah. For all time's sake. Sure. Ah! We gotta go. I'll see you tomorrow. Unless I'm halfway to Hawaii. Oh, come on. I'm kidding. Hey, I couldn't have done this without you. I know that. Go home. Celebrate with Sarah. Come by my place in the morning. We'll split up the dough. Yeah, okay. Good luck. See you around, pal. <laughs> Well, look at this. Christ has finally risen. I was getting ready to call the coroner. Sorry. Had a bit of trouble falling asleep this off. Me too. Thanks to you tossing and turning all night. Okay, what'd you do? We're just feeling lucky, is all. Got that right, champ. I've been thinking. Oh, yeah? I'll call the papers. I've been thinking about taking you and a kid out to the shore. You serious? Ain't you working? Uh, Polly and me, we've come into some money. Huh. One of his cracked angles finally pay off? Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pack a few bags. I'll swing by after I go around to Polly's. What ain't you telling me, Tommy? Nothing. Sure, you and Polly are suddenly flush, and now you want to leave town for a few days? That's on square. What's the point of making a buck if we can't spend it? That ain't it. You're moving, even when you're standing still. Yeah, you're nervous about something. Polly, you don't even know why yet. Well, that must be it. Better figure it out before you get to Polly's. Just in case it's him that got you all wound up. <laughs> Polly's all right. Don't worry about it. Well, I guess I'll see you soon. Still here? Keep hanging around, you're gonna end up packing time with me. Just warning you.
This neighborhood's going to the dogs. What happened to your door? Christ only knows. Hey, hey, you heard a ruckus last night? Nah, I've been working nights. Guy in the apartment above me was raising hell. Again. Polly! Slumped over in a hallway, torn a fucking skull. Oh God, I was, I was calling to warn him. About what? Jesus Christ! I owe you fellas my life three times over. Warn him about what, Sam? Salieri. He found out about the bank job. You're in deep shit, Tom. You gotta right. disappear. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I just need some cash to get me and the girls out of town. Can you swing that? Sure. You want me to come to Polly's? No. No, I can't stay here. Uh, meet me at the, the city gallery. Yeah, okay. Keep your head down, Tom. I'll see you soon. And uh, thanks, Sam. I always pay my debts, son. You know that. I'm gonna call the cops. Something ain't right. Someone said it could have been gunshots.
Don't move, Tommy. Shit. Hey, Tom. Sam. What the hell's going on? You and Polly. You put me in a bad spot. I know, Sam, but I'm sorry about that, but I need to get out of town. Can you help me or not? There you go again. Making me choose between my friends and the family. This is what you were looking for, Polly's. Here's your cut. It's more than you deserve. Sam. You killed him. You killed Polly. No. Polly got himself killed. And you seem real tore off about it. I'm just in a good mood. Things are right between me and the Don. I'm moving up. And I just found this big bag of money. The Don knows about Frank, Tom. The whore, too. That whore. The girl you were sweet on. You're the one that let her live. I'm sorry about this, Tom. But our business has rules. Shame, too. Don Salieri really liked you. Guess we'll both have a good cry at your funeral. You think you're doing this because you're loyal, but you're not. You're just scared. Maybe. But you would have lived a lot longer if you would have just looked over your shoulder from time to time. Goodbye. Don't let him suffer, boys. He's my buddy.
you, Sam! I know you do the same, Tom! Tom! I know you do not the same! This is getting serious, boys! Take him out! Guys, yet! Still got him! Us off. Picking you off, baby. For me, I play these things smart. Drug money is a pace for a lot of muscle. Put them down, boys. Kill it. Hey. Nobody's carrying you to the doctor this time, Sam. You kill me now in the dawn. She's never gonna stop looking for you. But you let me live. I'll tell Salieri you're dead. You can disappear. Just like Frank. Only you'll be smart enough to stay gone. Right? What happened to him? He was hiding out in Europe. <laughs> that dumb bastard. He started betting at the dog track. Got spotted by a friend of the family. So Salieri, he sent out a crew. And his family? in the back of your head. 
Maybe sounds like your baby girl, Sarah. Always telling you not to pull that trigger. And you can't make up your mind. It's getting easier every time you open your fucking mouth. <laughs> we sure had some laughs, right? Remember that time? Me, you, and Polly. <laughs> I sympathize with the situation, Tom, and I want to help your family, but I can't do anything unless you're willing to testify in court. You understand that, right? You'll have to sit in that box, stare down Salieri, Ralphie, Vinny, maybe even Sarah's father. I, I don't know if you got the stones for it, if I'm being honest. I'll do what needs to be done. But you need to get my family new identities and ship them far away from here. Well, hold on. There's a long road between us sitting here bumping gums and Sarah sleeping under new stars. Then I'm sorry I wasted your time. And mine. I gotta get out of town. Look, Tom. I got a family, too. Wife. Four boys. All Irish twins. Yeah. So you know I understand what you're going through. All the worrying over them, the fear that one of them's gonna go before you do. But this case, it'll be one of the biggest this city has ever seen. It could drag on for years. I don't know if I can protect you for that long, not the way things are downtown. Everyone's got to eat, right? Even dirty cops. Just being honest here, there's a few bodies I can trust downtown, but not many. And if it comes down to you or me taking a bullet, I'm not going to make my wife a widow. Keeping you alive in exactly the moral course, but I'll try. That's a pretty good sales job. Trying to make me think you got nothing on the line. But this is your whole career right here. However it works out for me, whether I live or die, you get to crack the Morello case and take down a Don. Salieri will be your legacy. Don't go thinking you know me, Tom. Salieri belongs behind bars. I'll help you so long as you help me put him there. That's all this is. Then that has to be enough. time ago, in another life, someone once told me that family is a man's Achilles heel, his greatest weakness. Maybe he was right, because everything I've done, both good and bad, I've done for my family. I've turned my back on people they thought were my friends. I've kept a lot of hard promises. I spent eight years totally alone, trying to find myself so I could come home. 
a better husband, a better father, a better man. Now that I'm a lot older and just a bit wiser, <laughs> I see that family is our greatest weakness, but it's also our greatest strength. It gets us out of bed in the morning. It lets us chase our dreams, even when they're moving too fast to catch. It keeps us from falling over. When we're too tired to take another step. Mr. Angelo. Yes. Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Tommy! Remember that money, jobs, even best pals will come and go. But family, family is forever. Y'all thought I was soft as cotton. Y'all thought I was a trick. Messed around and forgot I was rotten. You, know my wants to go to you tell them I'm on my way. Nobody tell them. I'm on my uh, way. I keep my mind on my money, I keep my hand on my gunny Don't get to playing with Sonny unless you play Boy Bunny I put bow in your tummy, tattoo in your brain See the man ain't playing, if you think it's a game Haters whisper my name, suckers want what I slang Eric and I'm fame, DA want me to hang But let me explain, like Abel and Kane That the black grim reaper is not my brother's keeper Revenge, revenge, a killer's on a binge A revenge, it depends if I can live with my sins Lose family and friends Lost them all. Now you got to lose life and limbs Spit phlegm on them Got the code to rock him Homie jokes ain't allowed And your boy ain't scared to move The crowd with something loud If you doubt what I'm about Go ahead and run your mouth I'm the last thing you see When your time is running out Trent. I'll send you fast boy With a blast boy First class boy Messing with the wrong one, send you on that long run. Wants to go to Pop you like a pro, yeah. Now you good to go. Nobody, nobody, nobody. nobody. Ah, nobody. nobody you forgot where I come from, you forgot what I do. You forgot what you were saying, cause I'm blocking your view. Now I got you on cue, you about to turn blue. Get around me now, you acting like my little nephew. Boy, what you wanna do? You ain't gonna do ish, but go take a ish. It's about as funky as it get. Now I'ma have to admit that I was probably too nice. But take my advice, or I'll take your life. Now if you still wanna slice, let's start with the fingers. Let's move to the toes and end with the penis. See, men are from Mars, now you from Venus. How dumb you got to be trying to think with the genius? It's the big payback. You can't clown James Brown. See, a brother been down ever since Jamestown. You either swim or you drown. You either gagged or you Bound. Now you can't make a sound, boy. Look at you now. Bye. Everybody wants to go to hell. I'll send you fast, boy, with a blast, boy. Class, boy. Wants to go to hell. Messing with the wrong one, send you on that long gun. Everybody wants to go to hell. Pop you like a pro. Go. Now you good to go. Nobody, nobody, nah. Uh, nobody wants to.